Hello everyone, it's so great to have you back. So a lot of you have been asking me for a tutorial on how I built my barn and my arenas and stuff. I really don't know what you mean by tutorial, so I'm just going to kind of guess and uh, just kind of wing it. So, um, excuse me. Excuse me, what are you doing on my property? Could you kindly take your llamas and leave? I would really appreciate it. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, I don't really know what you mean by tutorial, just like the type of blocks I used or the sizes of stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of guess. And uh, yeah, so for the pins, each pin is eight by 10. So eight blocks wide on the inside and then 10 blocks back on the inside. So yeah, this is 10 blocks. And then um, I just used shavings obviously and added this window here. And then the outside pin is the same size, eight by 10. So yeah, this is eight, or you know what? This one is seven. This particular pin is actually off, but it's supposed to be eight by 10. And then for these blocks, it's the polished blackstone bricks. Basalt is the floor, but see, if you place it like this, it has this texture. So you have to make sure that you, you place it by pointing down at the floor. And then I have both gates on all of these different pins. And the whitewash planks obviously make up the big portion of the barn. And then I use the whitewash western fence. And to make it be a little bit taller, it's like a fence and a half, you use the fence tool. And that changes it. So see how it gets smaller? And that makes the fence a better size for the big swim horses. And then this is just a white pasture gate. I just kind of placed it in the middle to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And there's five pins on this side of the barn. And then there's also five pins on the other side of the barn. So 10 stalls, I'm sorry, I always call it pins, 10 stalls total. And these are just the Western hitching posts, the minis. I think they're cute because I like the horse head. And each stall also has each feeder, water, and the, the grain bucket thing. And then for the corner, I just added a bunch of random hay bales. And this is just the anchor for the lead. Does lead anchor, just kind of put it there as extra places to put your horses. And then for the windows, they are five, I think it's five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five blocks across. And then I just lined it with those same bricks. And then for these bars, that is the friendly bars, the dark ones. These are illuminate fixtures and these are from the Simply Light mod. A lot of my lights in here are from that mod actually. Over here, I have the wash rack. I just placed two of the Hitching posts and the metal grate here and the dark rubber mat. And let's see, for my feed room, these boxes are from the more storage mod. So I just use some of those to make it look like, you know, drawers. It, or my, is it drawers mod? I don't know. One of those mods. And then same thing in here. Most of the stuff in here is from the swim mod. So coming back over this way, I already discussed the sizes of my stalls. We'll go upstairs real fast. So up here, all of this is from Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. And this whole upper area was one giant room, but I decided to separate it into three spaces with actually your guys' recommendations for that. And it's worked out really well. So again, Mr. Crayfish's, most of this is that mod. Same for in here. I just kind of separated it all out. It was just one giant room. But it looks a lot better being, you know, smaller spaces. So let's see, what else? Um, let's head over to the paddock area. And this was smaller at first, but I decided to extend it out further because it just didn't seem big enough. I will count it for you just because I like you guys, but it's gonna take a minute. So it's actually 29 blocks wide and 43 blocks long. Now that is for the inside area, which means your fences will be outside of that number, if that makes sense. And then I just placed a water or a water trough and some paddock feeders. It keeps trying to rain on me. Let's see over here. Okay, so the round pin was really tricky. And still, I don't think it's completely even. And I can't figure out why. <laughs> Uh, at first, my round pin was way too big. It was massive, so I had to tone it down quite a bit. 
So I'll go ahead and go around all these corners and count them and see what I come up with. It's weird because like when you look from the top, I don't understand how the back is so lopsided. How did that happen? Because it, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I can't figure it out. Like my brain cannot process. I have never been good at geometry. So I, I don't know how it's uneven, but you know what? Maybe you could figure out a straighter round pen than me. For me, this works. So anyway, the side is 10. The first curve is seven. The back side is 12. The curve is seven again. The side is 10 again. This curve is nine. The front gate area is eight. And then the curve is nine. So yeah, those numbers are just weird. All right, moving on from the round pin. This area is new and it's kind of my vet boxes, maybe even a foaling box, hint, hint. That's for a future video. Okay, so oh, tackling this giant arena, I have no idea how big this is. <laughs> I really don't. I just kind of went until I thought it was big enough. But again, because I like you guys so much, I will go ahead and count it out. So down here, I have the swim glowing glass, and that helps a lot for at nighttime when it's really dark. And then these are the English fences, and I just use the fence tool to kind of make them longer in the middle. Oh, and all my flowers are rose bushes, and all the bushes, all the bushes are spruce hedges. And the lamps are luminant columns. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and count this out and let you know how long this arena is. So the arena is 78 blocks long and 64 blocks wide. So again, this is just the inside of the arena, not counting the fences. So the fences will go on the outside of that measurement. So all the inside is just sand. And for each jump, I have these street lamp posts that's from the decorative blocks mod, I believe. I thought it kind of looked pretty and it added more light. So for the bleachers, the bleachers go four high. And again, I use the polish brick and there's 15 spaces of bleachers. And on either side of the bleachers, I have a set of stairs and the bleachers are from the swim mod. So yeah, it goes like this on both sides of the wall here. So bleachers for this arena and bleachers for that arena. And on the end of both sides, I just built this kind of little gazebo thing. And with the McCrayfish, uh, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, just added some stuff. The Western arena is almost the same size as my jumping. It's a little bit more narrow though, but it is definitely the same length. So I'm not gonna count out the width. Honestly, I wish I probably would have made it a little bit wider, but that's okay. And then I just added these dividing fences here because I will be putting cattle in these pens eventually. And then obviously it's the starting gate for the barrel racing. The racetrack, oh boy, the racetrack. <laughs> this racetrack took me a very long time. Again, I have no idea how many blocks long it is. Um, but you know what I will tell you, the width is 24 blocks, I'm almost certain, because I had to keep that number in my head as I was building. So yes, this is 24 blocks wide all the way around the track. And then for the starting gate area, it's the same width, the 24 blocks, but it goes back, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it's 24 by 11 for the starter blocks. And I was able to squeeze in six starting gates that fit perfectly. So that that's a good measurement, I think. The fences I used all the way around are just the white picket fence from the Mr. Crayfish mod. I think it's from that mod. And then rather than count all the way down there, I think I'll count the middle portion. Because if you take into consideration the 24 blocks for the inside of the track, and then you're gonna add one block for fence, then you'll start counting the middle. I think that would be easier for me than having to count. I know there's probably a quicker way to do this anyways with commands or something, but I'm not super savvy on commands. So I'm doing it the hard way. So the inside of this racetrack is 41 blocks wide and 124 blocks long. So for the curves, let me clear this clock. I didn't even realize it was counting down. The curves were kind of tricky for this. 
but the best way I found to do it was to kind of keep going at that 24 blocks wide until you get to a point where you're almost met up and then connect and see if it ends up even on all the corners. Uh, it's kind of confusing sounding, but that's the only way I could figure out how to do it. And it did take me a few tries to get the corners to match up perfectly right, but they are all even, unlike my round pen, which apparently is not. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six in this curve, and they should all end up that way. So you're just gonna keep kind of, you know, do the inside fence until you're almost met up and keep that 24 blocks wide all the way around. So just as a reminder, it's gonna be fence, 24 blocks, fence, 41 blocks, and then fence, 24 blocks again, and fence. And that will be the length of your, or width of your entire structure. Same for the length. So what is that? I don't know, you add all that up together and then that's how big it'll be. Okay. So now we're gonna talk about how I'm able to clear out big chunks of mountain in about an eighth of the time as clearing it out manually. And I do this by using World Edit. World Edit is amazing. It has a bit of a learning curve, but when you know the basics, it's good. So you type in slash slash wand, which will bring up this wooden ax. This ax is what's gonna work as your starting and ending point to what you want to edit. Oh my gosh, it's a fox. Oh, I really want that fox because Robin needs a girlfriend, but it feels like cheating because I'm flying. Okay, anyway, not to get distracted. So you'll go to your starting point and left click. This is the beginning of my edit. Then you're gonna fly to wherever you want your edit to end. You want it to be a high point. So right here is good. So I'm gonna right click. Once I do that, I'm gonna type in slash slash replace, if I can spell, and then air and enter. And bam, half the mountain is gone just like that in five seconds. You can do that command to replace the blocks with anything. I could replace the stone with grass or I could replace, you know, water with dirt. It's really, really convenient. I highly recommend that mod for terraforming. So let's see, what else do I have to discuss? Um, my building over there is just a basic building. Nothing too special, really. My arena, I don't know how big this thing is. I have no idea. It's massive. That's all I can tell you. Use the same blocks as the barn. It's still not done, but as you can see, I put some bleachers and some of these separator fences. Oh, and you know what? I remember I read a comment. I think I figured out what I'm doing wrong with these jumps. Let me test this real fast. Uh, where is it? What is it called? Oh, the measuring tool. I just wanna try this. Cause I saw if you click it on the same side two, three, four, five, that it will end up correct. So when we click here and here, if this works, oh my gosh, it worked. Ah, oh, you don't know how many times I was just spamming, clicking and like nothing's happening, nothing's happening and it ends up the wrong way. It was my error, user error, okay. Hey, that's really good to know. So now I can actually finish building this arena. I was dreading it because the jumps were so awkward for me, but now I know what I was doing wrong. Up here, I have the star worm and Andes andesite, I don't know how to say that. So it's glowing. This is the brightest I can get it though. And it's dark. You know, actually, I think I might add some glass roof. I wonder if that would help with the brightness at all. Cause I really haven't been able to figure out how to get it any brighter. And natural sunlight might do the trick. Let's see, open up a little hole. Oh yeah. Oh, that's much brighter. Oh, and the sun glare looks really pretty too. Okay, so I am definitely going to be opening this up and adding some, um, what are they called? Sun, sunroofs? No. Moonlights? I don't know. Basically a glass roof, because look how much brighter that is already. And if I make the sand glow, it's like way too bright, so. <laughs> okay, anyway, I got distracted yet again. Sorry about that. I honestly think that that's pretty much everything. I don't know if this is the kind of tutorial. Oh, you know what? The fountain. I guess I can talk about the fountain real fast. So these tables are just part of the uh, extra blocks or decorative blocks. I'm sorry. Decorative blocks mod kind of make a picnic table. 
And then this is the diorite slab. And I just kind of built like a little tower in there with the chiseled stone bricks. And topped it off with one of the illuminate slabs. And just kind of jumped up and bam, put water on top and it made a fountain. Ugh, it keeps trying to rain on me. What is up with that? Oh, the curve. We could talk about the curve. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the curve of the barn is eleven. So if you just start building and you got your, your pins in there, then you can start the curve. Because I'm pretty sure it lines up perfectly. Okay, I don't know if this is the kind of tutorial you guys were hoping for. I'm sorry if it wasn't. I didn't really know what you meant by tutorial. Hopefully this is useful for you guys. Stay tuned. I have some exciting Halloween stuff planned with Magic Adventure. You don't want to miss that. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I will try to help you to the best of my ability. Until next time, bye.